thanks. Uh, it's awesome to be here. It's great to see, meet so many great people, meet so many, hear so many great speakers. Uh, my name's Sean Landsman. I'm lead framework developer uh, at AG Grid. Uh, the picture on there is obviously pre-lockdown. This is post-lockdown. Um, so I'm going to talk a little bit about our React rendering uh, engine. But before that, I just wanted to give you guys an overview of what AG Grid is and what we do over at AG Grid. So uh, in a nutshell, AG Grid is a table, uh, rows and columns. Um, if this works, there we go. So what we see there is 10,000 rows with 1,000 updates a second. The blue and the, the green and the red, sorry, um, updates are happening uh, in real time. Um, I've skipped a slide. So this slide is actually taking the tab simple, simple tabular data a step further and adding enterprise goodness because AG Grid is an enterprise component. So what you can see here are 10,000 rows, same um, as what I've just described, with 1,000 updates a second. But here we're um, uh, aggregating by some of the uh, group children, um, sorting. So this is, again, 10,000 rows, 1,000 updates a second. This is all happening in memory. And you can see it's pretty seamless. Um, so AG Grid is an AI enterprise component, enterprise features. We can take this a little bit further um, by adding some cool chart features. So this is included in AG Grid. It comes straight out the box. Um, very little um, coding is required. Most of what you've, well, everything you've just seen from simple tables, uh, aggregation, sorting, uh, charts, come straight out the box. Very little coding. You give us the data. You tell us how you want the data to look, and it'll work. So what's cool here is you can see that the chart is updating, the underlying date, uh, grid is updating. It's all happening in memory. There's a huge amount of updates, probably more than most people would display uh, for real in a real application, but it's all there. Um, so the way we like to think of it is AG Grid superpowers any application you might have. Um, people often ask us, um, and I've had a few questions on the stall outside, is what the difference is between us and React Table. And we actually have a great working relationship with Tana um, at React Table um, because we don't see um, us as competing. We see us as doing two very different things. Um, AG Grid has a UI, it has everything you could possibly require, um, and probably a few things you don't even know you need until you've used it. Um, and that's great for enterprise applications. But uh, React Table doesn't come with a UI. If you want a UI, you have to code it. Uh, it requires more coding. Uh, but sometimes less is more. If your uh, target um, is super lightweight uh, table for uh, the World Wide Web and SEO is super important, React Table is a great choice. It's a great product. Um, if, however, you want everything all included, you want an enterprise application with an enterprise component, you should consider AG Grid. Both very good products. Targets in different areas. Um, so, whoops, skip a step. So, one of the challenges we have, one of the main challenges we have um, as a library vendor, is how do we support all the different frameworks out there without uh, targeting and having multiple different uh, libraries? So, we've got one library, and yet we support all these frameworks. Well, it occurs to us that all the frameworks do one thing ultimately, and that's DOM and CSS, and they have to, because that's what the browser understands. Um, so what we can do and what we do do is we've got a core intelligence in AG Grid um, with a, a UI wrapped around it. And that's what that has allows us to do, and this is a recent change in our offering, because before we used to use portals, um, is we redesigned and we rethought about how we do uh, support for libraries. What we now have is a, a set of simple components that set templates and they set CSS, but they don't know why. The intelligence lives in a shared services, and we can strip out the UI and add a new UI, and in this case, we redevelop the React UI. And what that enables us to do is the little dancing robot is a React component. Um, and before, we would have had AG Grid React, and we would have had a whole bunch of dynamic components within that. Um, I'll pause it there. What we now have with our React UI is a, a React um, rendering engine is React from top to bottom throughout, and all the components are exactly where you expect them. So my React comp up there is the dancing robots. It lives under a cell comp, which lives under a row comp, and all the way up the React hierarchy, which is exactly how it should be. Um, and that makes it a native React experience all throughout. You get all the performance benefits and benefits of React. 
and all the intelligence and power of AG Grid. Um, and this is transparent to you, and it's a recent update, um, and makes a huge difference um, if you're using AG Grid and React. Um, and that's all I had. Thank you very much. If you have any questions, we've got a booth outside. We'd love to meet you. Thank you.